Ascariasis is highly endemic in Kashmir, India. This presentation focuses on unique dyspeptic symptoms caused by migration of worms into the duodenum, stomach, and esophagus. A subgroup of patients with gastric ascariasis present with gastric outlet obstruction simulating gastric malignancy. Patients with ascaris induced gastric outlet obstruction can be managed by dislodging the worms out of the pylorus and removing these out through the mouth. Ultrasound performed with water-filled stomach is accurate in identifying worms in the stomach and across the pylorus and the duodenum. Our index case was a 50-year-old male who presented with six-month history of abdominal distension, indigestion and recurrent vomiting, halitosis and weight loss of 10 kilograms. Vomitus was foul smelling and contained food taken several days prior. He had vomited worms on several occasions. He denied history of ulcer disease, hematemesis, melina, hematochasia and altered bowel habits. Examination revealed a sick man emaciated with signs of dehydration. Abdomen was distended with visible gastric peristalsis and audible gastric splash. Laboratory results revealed moderate anemia with hyperalbuminemia, pre-renal azotemia and hyperkalemia. A progenic diagnosis of malignant pyloric obstruction was made. An urgent IV excess was obtained and he received intravenous fluids with potassium replacement. In addition, he had nasogastric aspiration to decompress the stomach. Upper G endoscopy was planned after an overnight hydration and gastric decompression. Findings of upper G endoscopy revealed food residue in the gastric fundus, suggesting gastric stasis. An adult ascarid was placed across the pylorus and blocking the lumen. Body of the ascarid showed a constriction at the site of pylorus, suggestive of pyloric canal block. The worm was disengaged from the pylorus and extracted out of the stomach. Pylorus showed edema, erythema and ulceration. He received mebendazole 100 mg orally twice daily for 3 days and this was repeated at 2 weeks. Following worm extraction and antihelminthic therapy, there was a rapid relief of vomiting, abdominal distension and indigestion. Signs of gastric stasis namely distended stomach with visible gastric peristalsis and audible splash disappeared. He gained 10 kilos of weight over the next 3 months. He has stayed well for 4 years on the follow-up. Our index case 2 was a 30-year woman who presented with 3 months history of abdominal distension, recurrent vomiting and weight loss. Upper G endoscopy revealed gastric stasis and block of the pylorodudinal canal caused by multiple worms blocking the pylorus. All worms were extracted out in one session. Following worm extraction and effective antihelminthic therapy, patient had complete relief of symptoms. Gastric ultrasounds were done to diagnose worms in the stomach. Worms were seen as actually motile ascarids in the stomach. Ascarids were recognized by their characteristic long echogenic strips with central anechoic tubes representing the elementary canal of the worm and their snake-like mobility. The worms in the pylorodudinal canal showed similar echogenic strips but with slow breathing mobility. From June 2007 to November 2009, 
we had assessed 1,522 patients with dyspepsia. Worms were seen in the stomach in 22 patients and symptoms were broadly divided into three groups. Five patients present with gastric outlet obstruction. Eleven patients had retrosternal irritation. Three patients had repeated episodes of cough and choking during night. The remaining three patients had associated diseases as detected on upper GI endoscopy. Ascaris is a common infection worldwide, infecting over a billion people. Most infections are asymptomatic and may be detected incidentally. It is estimated that over a million infected persons present with clinical disease. Clinical disease may occur during larval migration causing pulmonary ascariasis, luminal aggregation in the gut causing obstruction and volvulus, ductal invasion causing hepatobiliary and pancreatic ascariasis, or granulomatous disease in the peritoneum or liver. Gastric ascaris has been reported to cause chronic intermittent uh, outlet obstruction in several case reports. However, intense retrocertal irritation and choking at night were unique symptoms that were not reported in the literature. Dyspepsia is a common symptom in the community. As a significant percentage of dyspepsia symptoms have gastric ascaris, this entity should be considered as a differential diagnosis of dyspepsia in the endemic areas. There are few indicators when this entity should be kept in mind. These include residents in endemic areas or visiting such areas, unusual or unique dyspeptic symptoms as reported in this study, and history of vomiting of worms at any time during the course of illness. Gastric ultrasound should be performed on a water-filled stomach. Management of gastric ascaris is broadly divided into two simple principles. One is extraction of the worms from the stomach or pyroduodenal canal and institution of effective intelmetic therapy.